Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Ship My Cards return video. I have been getting a bunch of cards uh, shipped over to Ship My Cards. If you're unfamiliar with this service, it's basically like a vaulting third party service. Um, very useful if you're from Canada and you buy a lot of cards from the States. Uh, basically I'll have the my cards shipped to this address that they give you and they charge like you know between one and five dollars I think per card as the fee and then you can just stockpile a bunch of cards and get them shipped all at once and yeah you can avoid thousands of dollars in uh, import fees and all sorts of other fees because a lot of uh, Americans on eBay charge really expensive uh, shipping rates so yeah it's uh, a go-to service that I use and I've been buying a bunch of cards and every time I was about to get these shipped back I would win a few more auctions so I just have to like keep waiting forever it felt like but yeah finally got these back I also got a uh, some really nice uh, pickups here, some other recent pickups. So I guess I'll start with uh, the stuff I already have out here. So we'll start off with a bang. This is one of the nicest cards that I've bought in, in quite some time. This is the Alex Gander Barkoff 101 Metal Universe PMG True 101. Um, yeah, I pretty much decided to start collecting this set and my goal is just to get the best copy of uh, each card in the set as I can get. So. For Barkov, we got the best possible card as we got the one of one. So trying to get everything in like a green. Uh, for the base cards, for the rookies, I'll probably stick to reds because I don't really like paying the premium um, for like random rookies uh, compared to like, you know, guys like Barkov. I'd much prefer to spend up for a better parallel. But yeah, anyways, that's just an absolutely beautiful card. And I love the photo. Just think it looks so nice. So yeah, there's a big one. Currently down two games in the Stanley Cup Finals, so... Pulling for Florida to win. I don't really care about, like, oh, if this card's worth more or whatever. Because uh, I'm keeping this. Um, I got this, like, when before they played the Leafs or whatever. And the guy was like, oh, man, nice timing or something. But it's like, re realistically, I mean, I guess it would have cost more if I would have uh, waited to buy it. But, yeah, uh, I'm not planning to flip this just because, you know, they do good in the playoffs. That just makes no sense. So, yeah, these are just so nice. So if you don't like these cards, you should just click off this video because... There is uh, a bunch of Metal Universe uh, upcoming in this video. But yeah, that's one of the nicest cards that I've gotten in quite some time. This one is not a recent pickup. If you're familiar with the channel, you would have seen this one before, but I did get it re-slabbed, so I got a fresh PSA label. This had one of the old school labels on it, and I, I just don't like the way those look. So I wanted to get this one in a nice new holder. And uh, yeah, that's the Gretzky first ever game jersey card, one of my favorite cards. Here's a couple other pickups. Here's a Jason Robertson PMG Red. So like I said, no shot on buying a green for Robertson. I think the comp was like three grand or something stupid. So yeah, no no chance. Uh, I paid like a fifth of that for the gold Barkoff uh, one of one. So um, <clears throat> I'll just be sticking to the reds for the rookies. The cool part of this card is this is uh, actually the first ever PMG true rookie card because it's card number 101 and it's a 100 card base set. So he's the first rookie. So yeah, this is a true base parallel PMG Red rookie. So a bit of a an interesting card just because of that fact. And yeah, Robertson, I think the currently the best rookie in the crop. But I think uh, long term Stutzel is who I would put my money on. Then we got Keandre M Miller here, PSA six. So yeah, I just can't remember what I paid for these, but not too much. I'm like I said, I'm not going to pay overpay for uh, rookies. That's for sure. So here's a couple other pickups. This is an awesome one for my Vancouver Canucks Future Watch PC. For some reason, when I started collecting these Future Watches, I was just buying, like, the non-auto guys, I was just buying their base version. It didn't even occur to me, really, that they had, like, these awesome, rare, limited uh, parallels to chase. So now that I figured that out, I've been buying all these, like, old Canuck uh, Future Watch Limiteds. And it's it's almost more fun to collect these than the autos, uh, because these are just so hard to get. Like, you know, there's only 50 of these compared to 900 for his base and most of the future watch autos are out of 999 so i really really like these ones and yeah kessler that's one of the uh, the key canuck future watches out there so awesome card really happy with that here's a uh, besser and Pedersen alloyance gold out of metal universe got this for like 25 bucks so that's a cool one and the next card kind of goes with it a bit it is the True one of one PMG Brock Besser. This I actually just got today in the mail. So good timing with the uh, ship my cards. 
But man, look at the depth of the of this design. Like it literally looks like three dimensional there. It just looks so cool. But yeah, this is. Uh, I saw this on Facebook. I think they're asking three hundred. I was like done. Uh, I I wanted a nice Brock Besser card because I am a Canuck fan, and uh, we might end up trading him or whatever. But I, I still like this card because he was kind of the first rookie that uh, was fun to cheer for in quite a long time as a Canuck fan. Um, he had like a really, really good rookie year. And uh, yeah, him and PD had some sick chemistry. So I think it's cool to have this uh, Alliance Gold. These are numbered out of 25. And we have the Besser one of one, and I do have the PD one of one, which I don't have out right now. But yeah, it's cool to kind of link those three cards up. So yeah, we got the, the Brock Besser. This is the best uh, Besser PMG ever made and that ever will be made in my opinion so this would be like my one nice brock besser card in the pc so super happy to get that one here's a, another nice one luongo select gold from 2013 so i just kind of can't remember what i was doing but i was like looking up ebay to see like luongo's card see like what cool stuff he has from his uh vancouver playing years and this card was like on an auction with a couple days left so there wasn't any other card similar to this, like nowhere near as nice as this one. So it just felt like, you know, fate or whatever. Like you just randomly looked it up and then this card is ending in a couple days. So I didn't put in a crazy bid. I think I put a max bid of like 200 because uh, I wasn't exactly sure. Um, you know, like to start collecting these sort of cards could be dangerous because now I might just have to get all of his like rare refractors and stuff. So, but yeah, I think I won it for like 180 or something. So it was like near my top bid, but uh Feels like a, a fair price for like all-time great goalie. Uh, gold select number to, out of 10. It's just really, really nice looking. So yeah, if I can uh, find his Prism thir 2013 out of 10, that's one I'd like to get. Um, or the one of one black Prism or select Prism. I have no idea. Those cards could be locked away in some collection. Probably are, honestly, by now. But yeah. Um, but either way, just the golds are really cool. Here's a McDavid SB Game Used Base uh, second year card. I was trying to get one of these for a while. I think I got this for like $20 in an auction. And uh, yeah, just I was using a sniping service. Um, I use one called Gixon.com, and I strongly recommend you use one because you can like set up your bids beforehand. So I think I had like a $100, maybe $120 max bid set on this. And then, yeah, it'll put in a last second snipe bid. And uh, I guess no one was, else was there bidding on this at the uh, final seconds. The, the seller might have had this ending at a bad time or something, too. Um, so if you ever see an auction that ends at like 2 a.m. or something, the snipe services are so useful because you don't even have to be there. It'll just put the bid in for you. So, yeah, I got this for like 20 bucks, which is a complete steal. Might have been more. Might have been like 30 But, yeah, either way, it wasn't much. So, again, here's one of these limited future watch for Canucks. Like, this is just an awesome card. I mean, numbered to 25 um, so yeah, I pretty much bought all of these that I could find on ComC or eBay. Um, I think I got most of them. There's a few that I'm looking for, so hopefully I'll find those. But yeah, these are really fun. Um, there's a few more of the, those in this, uh, Ship My Cards thing too. Here's the Mike Brown. This one's number 200. Kind of varied w on which years with the Limiteds would be number two. Here's a 05-06 uh, Rob McIver, number 100 out of 100. I need the uh, Rick Rippin from this year. That's one of the big ones I need. Here's Adam Goddett. I can't remember if I showed this card before, but uh, this was in a BGS 9.5, and I obviously snapped it because I hate BGS. So I'll send this to PSA. This actually looked completely gem mint to me, so this should probably get a PSA 10, which would be really cool, but... Even if it gets a 9, that's fine. Really nice looking card here. I desperately need to get the uh, Pedersen for this. But either way, there's the Godet. Here's a few PMGs. Here's Matthew Kachuk. Currently in the finals, having a beastly playoffs. This, uh, yeah, these are numbered to 100, but there's only 10 of them that are green. So, beautiful card there. Here's the Blake Wheeler. Um, Kopitar, I really like this one for whatever reason. Just cool photo, that gray looks nice with the green. Again, just looks so three-dimensional. Um, yeah, just crazy depth to these. But yeah, there's the Kopitar. And here's a bunch of reds. These are kind of boring, but... Yeah, some of these I have 
upgrade copies over already. Like there's a Wheeler. Obviously, I don't need this now because I have the green. Heiskanen, I really like uh, his cards from this because it's a color match. So I'll probably try and get his green. Um, Slavin. Barkov, obviously don't need that one. So uh, I don't think I need Panarin either. I'm pretty sure he's in there. But uh, yeah, a few of those uh, I no longer need. But yeah, those are the uh, pickups that are not part of this ship my cards. So now let's uh, get these ones. See what we got here. Um, one more thing too, I might as well show before the cards is uh, we got this was part of my ship my cards uh, shipment here. I bought a box of 98, 99 Upper Deck Series One, and basically the reason I bought this was to hunt the first ever exclusives. Uh, sorry, it doesn't really fit in my frame very well, but uh, yeah, this set uh, had the first ever serial numbered base cards um, of any hockey product uh, that I could tell, because like. Yeah, the older OPG and stuff didn't really do serial numbered parallels. So um, this was the first year of the exclusives, but even better than that, they have two tiers and the second tier of the exclusives are numbered one of one. So there's like Yager in here, Gretzky, Beret, like legends, and it's all playing your stuff. So uh, I decided to be like really smart to like try and pull a one of one from the 90s. So probably like a one in 10,000 odds of that. But uh, yeah, this box, I don't know what it was probably 200 bucks or 250 maybe maybe even cheaper i don't remember but uh it wasn't crazy expensive so i just thought it'd be a fun thing to open i'll probably film a separate video of that and uh, i'm not going to upload it if i just pull a bunch of random base cards you know like uh yeah it's not really a wax opening channel but if i pull something sick i will definitely either upload it or uh, show what i got so i thought i'd show that and uh yeah, there is some graded cards in here, so maybe we'll do those ones first. Um, what do we got here? We got the Update Silver OPG. Needed this for my Pedersen uh, OPG run. So, yeah, that's the silver. So I got the silver, the gold, the base. Oh, yeah, I got the red in here somewhere, too. Oh, I meant to show that. That's a recent pickup as well. Um, here it is. Yeah, this one's in uh, bad condition, unfortunately white corner so probably like a PSA 7 or 8 but uh this is the rarest OPG card he has from that set the card number 611 so um well yeah I think so maybe there's like a blank back or some easter egg but as far as like a normal card uh this would be the rarest one no serial numbered parallels so I do want to get this one in a higher grade but for now I do have the entire run of his OPG cards so that's pretty cool um here's a cool Luongo card I picked up a while back just really like the photo on this one. Like, 07 is probably a year where I watched, like, every single game and just, like, followed the season very closely. So, Luongo is, like, one of my favorite players. This is my favorite uh, mask ever. I just think it looks so cool. Like, the Lumberjack Pacific Northwest style artwork. So, um, yeah, it's a SP Authentic Base Parallel Limited Gold Foil. Just thought that was a nice-looking card. And this was... Uh, pretty fair price like 60 80 something like that um here's a pretty cool card but i'm a little bit unsure about this but it's definitely a great looking one this is the uh 94 score pavelbury platinum parallel psa 9 which i think was the highest graded but it might have been like a pop one where this was the only one graded or something um but yeah what i thought was cool about this is like it's from 94 so it's like right around like the the peak beret but like when he was scoring back-to-back -back 60 goals. Um, I guess you could argue his peak was actually with Florida when he had like almost back-to-back -back 60 goal years there and the league was uh, lower scoring. But either way, early beret with the skate jersey, really cool. The only thing I don't love about this card is uh, these weren't like pack inserted parallels. These platinums, I believe you had to like get a set of golds and send mail it to like uh, score and then they'd send these... Uh, platinums and i think they made 1994 of these sets but then the rumor was that like almost none of them got uh, redeemed so potentially a pretty rare card and it's definitely a great looking one so yeah i'll definitely hold on to this i don't know if i'll consider it like part of my beret pc but some cards i like to just buy and then see how much i like it and then uh yeah decide whether to keep it or not but yeah that's that's quite a nice looking card i must say um, and then here's a Wayne Gretzky gold one of one PMG. Just kidding. It's orange. I don't even know what that's numbered out of. A hundred. Yeah, looks gold though. Totally could pass for gold. 
But uh, I think I bought this because it was literally like a $48 buy it now or something. And that just didn't really make sense to me. I was like, really? Wayne Gretzky, Precious Metal Gems? I know it's like, you know, this weird Jersey Team Canada out of Skybox Metal Universe. But this would be technically Gretzky's first ever uh, base card PMG. And, I mean, this isn't playing years, but obviously 2012 Flare Retro is not playing years either. So it's kind of like... I don't know, 40 bucks just made no sense. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll buy that. So that's how I have that card. Um, oh, there's the best card right there. Might as well just show this one. Um, it's one of the nicest cards I've bought in, in quite some time. It's another random card in there too. But yeah, we bought the uh, Jack Hughes 1 of 1 PMG Gold out of Metal Universe. So... Found this card kind of randomly. Like I said, I decided I wanted to start chasing this set and I wanted to try and get the best parallel I could get for basically all the players, but especially if I like the player. And uh, so what did I search? I searched like one of one gold PMG on Facebook or something like that. And I found like a year old post of someone who had this card available. And uh, yeah, they didn't have many comments on it or anything. So I was like, oh, maybe... Maybe he never ended up selling this, and I like sent him a message and asked if he had it, and he said he still had it, and he was trying to get rid of it. Uh, so, yeah, I I don't know. It felt like I, I got a pretty good deal, because uh, to me, this is just an absolute monster card. Um, yeah, best Jack Hughes PMG ever made, because uh, he's not even on the retro uh, checklist. But even if he was, I would say this card's better, but the fact that he's not on the retro list just makes it kind of... Uh, not even a debate that this is just the best PMG made for him. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely stunning looking card. I love the photo on that one. So yeah, this one unfortunately um, did not get graded. PSA tried to grade this before or the guy who had it and they min sized it. Uh, a lot of these are cut very short, so I don't think it's like trimmed or anything. It's obviously a one of one. No one would bother doing that. But uh, yeah, I've had a few of these cards that are looked undersized to me and PSA graded them. So I feel like it's kind of random, like when you'd send this in, whether they grade it or not. So I'll probably try to grade it again. Even if not, if I can just get it an authentic holder, I'd be completely fine with that. So yeah, there it is. That's going to be the best card uh, in this video. All right, here's a uh, Duclair. I got, I threw this one in with a deal because like, why not? Guy had a few of these uh, metal PMGs. So uh, here's one of the better cards too, actually. This is... Uh, I won these auctions pretty recently. So here's the Jerome McGinley first ever game jersey card. And we got a slight two color there. Um, I do want to look at this one closer though because, they're, I don't know, the patch, I love the colors. I love orange and red, but I don't like whatever this is. It's like a scuff or something. Maybe it's like a mark from like the puck hitting um, that part of the jersey or something. It looks okay. Doesn't look too bad, but... I don't know. Um, it's, it bugs me a little bit, so I might like eventually upgrade this one. But I would love just like a red and orange two color, like more of a two color. That would be like a perfect copy of this uh, for me. But yeah, these are one in twenty five hundred packs. Uh, yeah, I just absolutely love the first two years of a uh, game jersey. So pretty much just trying to complete the set. I already completed the ninety six, uh, so I want to complete ninety seven. I really like most of the players in the checklist. That's Gretzky, obviously, which is uh, quite a key card in the hobby. And then I also, from the same seller, uh, won this Mike Richter. I was the underbidder on a recent Dominic Hasek, and that was, like, painful for me because I've been winning every auction recently, and then I finally lost one, and I really wanted to win that card. Um, yeah, had, like, just a nice yellow patch on it with the old-school Buffalo jersey. just looked so nice. But, uh, yeah, we got this Mike Richter, so... That's a pretty big one. I have a really nice uh, Brian Leach three color. So yeah, uh, another big Ranger card from that set. <clears throat> Here's a um, parallel rookie card for Elias Pettersson, his Artifacts Redemption rookie. The Emerald is the only parallel, I believe, number to 99. So uh, yeah, I think there's a few of these in here because I bought a couple, I'm gonna grade them and that will go towards my Pettersson rookie card PC. And here's the Panarin PMG green. So yeah, for the, the cards number 1 through 100, I pretty much want to get them all green or gold. So 
happy uh, to get this Panarin. Really, really nice looking. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, this lot in particular, I think I bought this for one card, and in, like they they were asking like for the lot the same as what I basically would have paid for the one card. So I was like, okay, sure. So yeah, that's how I got all these kind of random ones. I mean, Cole Perfetti young guns. That's not that bad. Uh, a couple other random young guns. It's probably some retro card. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Probably not worth anything, but. Those were throw-ins. Um, the card I was trying to get. Um, yeah, random stuff. Ross Colton. Another Perfetti. So there's two of those. And then Eklund. This is a guy who could end up being pretty good. So another Eklund here. This is like a retro. And then finally the card I actually tried to buy, which was this Tristan Yari. So the interesting thing about the... Uh, and then a couple other cards of his... The Metal Universe set is that a lot of these players, it's their first ever PMG, and I'm pretty sure this, uh, I'd have to double check the checklist, but I marked which ones were all first PMGs, and I think this all-star Tristan Jari is his first ever PMG card. So the guys where it's their first PMG, I, I want to try and get uh, greens for them, except for the rookies, obviously, but yeah, for the veterans, uh, just because I think probably a lot of people didn't even know that, um, you know, you have to like dig into it to find out if it's their first time on a uh, PMG checklist. All right, next we got some cards that uh, I got shipped off of Com C. So here's the Matt Barzell PMG Green. Uh, I especially wanted this one because he's card number one. Which they, you can't see it on the card, but it says right there, number one, Matt Barzell. And it's serial number one. So, I mean, I guess the one of one gold would be like the technically the very first card in the set. But uh, next to that, that's as close as you can get. Card number one, serial number number one. So that's just a cool one. Um, then here's a bunch of, uh, well, there's a bunch of reds coming up. There's a stall and Dumba. Um, yeah, a lot of these I just sorted by the cheapest and just bought all the ones that were like, you know, four or five bucks just to make progress on the set. Some of these I will upgrade to green eventually. Some of them I might already have upgraded. Here's a Clendenning Future Watch Limited. Again, number to 25, like, as far as the set I'm trying to put together, that's like a huge card for me. Um, before I had the one out of like $9.99, it's just like a complete random card, but this is actually quite hard to find. Um, Slavin, Wierenski, Turkov, Yandel, oh, there's another one. Probably like dinging corners doing this, but I don't really care too much. Um, Yandel, Stahl, Klingberg. Bailey, Markstrom, Holtby, Van Riemsdyk, Sagan, another uh, Future Watch Limited, Nathan Smith, Hurdle, Perron, Geo, Duclair, like yeah we already saw I got a green of him, so some of these I do not need anymore, Dano, Marsha Schill, he's been a complete beast in the uh, playoffs so far. Um, David Riddick, um, this is a big one for the uh, Canuck Limited Future Watches, Corey Schneider, definitely one of the important players that, that has a Future Watch card, so that's limited, number 98 out of 100, really cool, and uh, here's Letang, um, yeah, let's uh, see what else we got, alright, this next pile of cards, I literally traded one card in my PC for all of these, so pretty funny trade. I ended up trading away my Wayne Gretzky um, Be a Player first ever autograph card, which was a PSA 6 with a 10 auto. So yeah, I'm probably the only person on the planet who would trade the best player of all times first ever auto card for a stack of like 2020 green shiny bulk cards, basically. I mean, there's some good players in here, but there's, there's definitely no like you know, there's no Ovechkin in this pile or anything. Uh, so, yeah, very nice value for the other guy in the trade. But um, I think it was, uh, it was a trade I love to make because it gave me a bunch of progress on the set. And, uh, yeah, I just got to check off a bunch of the cards I was looking for. So, and, uh, yeah, that Be a Player Auto, I didn't really love that card too much. So, yeah, I'm happy to make trades where I get a card I'd rather have. I'm not really necessarily concerned about winning the trade, which... Uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of people, when they trade, they're just trying to win or get max value. I will often, if I the other guy has a card I want, I will happily lose the trade. Um, 
but yeah, that's just me. So yeah, there was Eichel, there's Rene. I like this uh, Brent Burns, just cool looking. That, that's probably gonna be like, you know, peak Brent Burns there, San Jose with the beard, like just awesome looking. Um, I'm not gonna look at the serial numbers of these, don't really care. Uh, here's a Patrick Kane All-Stars. That's probably the best one that was in this uh, um, pile. Green PMG, Patty Kane, maybe the uh, the Eichel, you could argue, the top one. Here's uh, Konechny. So again, a lot of these guys, it'll be their first PMG card. Can't remember which ones. Um, here's a Slavin. Here's Weber. Carlson. Mark Giordano. Innington, I'm pretty sure this is his first PMG. Um, yeah, I don't think he got a base card. I'm pretty sure they just put him on this all-star one. Here is uh, Pacioretty. Oshi. Shifley all-star. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly. Hellebuck all-star. Freddie Anderson, it's pretty cool. Yeah, most of these were the all-star ones, uh, which I don't love, actually. <laughs> I'd prefer if they were the, the base ones, but yeah, the all-stars cards can get a lot cheaper. So, yeah, cards 1 through uh, 100, yeah, 1 through 100 are the base, and then 101 to, like, 150 are the rookies, and then 151 to 200 are the all-stars. So, but yeah, I got a lot of the all-star ones. Uh, I was able to get through this trade. Um, here's the Huberto. Hopefully he has a bounce back season. And then I did get two Hellebooks, and uh, yeah, Hellebook, this is his first PMG, so that's a pretty big card to me, I think. Um, yeah, just like one of the best goalies in the league. Um, so first PMG card, PMG green, so I do have a duplicate. I would trade one of these for uh, you know, a similar caliber player of, of a card I don't have, so if anyone needs one, uh, hit me up. Here's Keith Yandel, Braden Shen, Chabot, Mark Stone. He's been, uh, yeah, probably going to win a cup here in the next couple days. Still pulling for Florida, but here's uh, Braden Point. So that's another decent one, I guess. Point star player. He definitely had a PMG before this, though, pretty sure. But, yeah, beautiful cards. So, yeah, that was all pretty much from one trade, uh, one card for all of that. So, very pretty fun trade. Um, next, this one was not part of that trade. That would have made it a decent trade, probably for me, if this card was in it. But, yeah, I bought this one on an eBay auction. Leon Dreisaitl, all, all Stars Gold. And I grabbed this Barzell. Unfortunately, so Barzell is in this checklist three times. You already saw card number one that I showed. This is like one of the all-star ones, 152. He also has another all-star one, and I pulled that card um, back on the first ever box of this. I opened PMG Green uh, Barzell all-star, but I wasn't going for the set back then, so I moved it. Probably moved it for like 300, and I could probably buy it back for like 80. So it's not the end of the world, but uh, I wish I kept it because, yeah, then I'd have all three of them now. And plus I pulled it, but uh, yeah. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to collect necessarily. So I've often sold cards that I need to buy back. For example, I had the Nathan McKinnon PMG Green, which I sold for a huge loss. I bought it for too much and sold it for way less. And I would have just kept it. Here's a random card I got on an eBay auction. Uh, Murray and Hosa Star Rookies. This is actually from that set that I was just showing you. I don't think it's in the... Uh, the box I bought. This might be like Series 2 or something. Maybe this is, I'm not sure, but you can see there are UD exclusives, so he would have had an exclusive out of 100 and then a 1 of 1 exclusives. So, Hosa, great player there. That's a true rookie card um, parallel out of the base set. This is like, you know, this basically a Young Guns. It's, it's obviously branded Star Rookie, but fundamentally a Young Guns is just the first base card for a player in Upper Deck Flagship, and that's what this card is for uh, Marion Hosa. So, I thought that was a cool card, and it was pretty cheap. Here's Doughty. Guy's a great player, but he's super annoying when you're cheering for uh, the Oilers in the playoffs. 
Yeah, the Kings, uh, I have respect for Kopitar, but a lot of the Kings players just, they're just such divers, like it's so hard to watch. So, yeah, if you're a Kings fan, go ahead and hit the dislike button. I'm fine with it. Uh, dry Saddle here, All-Stars, Red, I don't need this one because I have the green, but that one's available, I guess. Here's uh, Carey Price, PMG Red. This one I like. This is another one of those like auction snipes where I got this for like five bucks with like, you know, I probably had like a $30 max bid. It wasn't anything crazy, but five bucks, like you almost feel bad for the seller. Um, yeah, number 11 out of 100 too, so almost a PMG green. But uh, yeah, here's the price. And here's one, I mean, I probably shouldn't be buying cards like this yet because Makar prices might you know continue to fall because they were quite high, but they already came down quite a bit. So I picked this one up first PMG card from a car, so I would like to get a green of this one eventually, but I'll probably just wait for the prices to settle. Um, who knows, though, he, might, he could just come out and have like 100 point season next year, and prices will go back up probably, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. Alright, here's a few other cards. I don't know if there's multiple in here. Oh, there is. So there's a Jack Hughes Red that I bought like a few days before I found that gold one. So, yeah, this this one's available. That's a really nice-looking card, by the way. I used to have one of these in a PSA 9 that I sold, and I kind of regretted selling it. That's why I was, like, really happy to buy the gold um, to make up for that. But, uh, yeah, the, the color match, obviously, is really nice there. And then we got the Ryan O'Reilly. So that's a cool card. Um, and we got the Evander Kane here. I think that's the only card in there. Um... Who's this? Geeky, rookie one. Okay. Uh, another rare Future Watch Limited, number to 25. Like, that's just, uh, and that's a McDavid year too. Like, that, to me, that's just awesome card. I could care less who it is, like Alexander Grenier. But, like, for Vertanen, for example, I can't even, I mean, I guess Vertanen would have, like, a, a black Future Watch auto that I could try and chase. But some of the guys, all they have is a Future Watch to 999. So, hunting down these limiteds has just been super fun. Here's one of the uh, exclusive cards that I'll be hunting for. Um, actually, probably not. 248 is probably Series 2. But uh, yeah, this is what the cards look like. It's not really a great design, to be honest. I'm pretty sure the, the base are silver. And then for whatever reason, they made you know bronze for the uh, parallel. And they should have went the other way around there for sure. Should have been bronze base and then silver parallel. And then the one of ones are gold. So they got that right. But uh yeah, bronze is a hideous color for a parallel, so that uh, kind of sucks, but it's still a playing years card. First ever, you know, base parallel for uh, Joe Sackick there, a uh, serial numbered one. And exclusives is like a, a brand they carry all the way through till today, so I think it's a, it's a really interesting set. Um, here's another one of these uh, Pedersen cards. There's a few in here. So yeah, I had uh, two of these, the artifacts. Hopefully one of them gets a nice grade. Um, here's a exclusive Young Guns of Eric Johnson, former first overall pick. Here's a Pedersen Trilogy, um, rare rookie card parallel there, number 299. Alright, here's a few more. Here's like a, a nice looking Allure parallel. Uh, white Diamond or something, number 250. Most Allure parallels I think are pretty ugly, but that one is quite nice looking. Um, here's a random Bertuzzi, rare card. Here's a Luongo Limited SB Authentic, so putting together a few of those. Here's a Pedersen True Rookie that I was missing. This is Premier Rookie card. Should have been the Rookie Patch Autos that were the True Rookies, but they did these, uh, which they shouldn't have. And then last year, here's another PMG Red. So yeah, my uh, camera battery is about to die here, so that is going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys uh, liked this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.